Shabbat Shalom, everyone. How are you? Today is a special day. Do you know what day it is? That's right, it's Rosh Hashanah. It's also called Yom Teruah. Do you know what that means? No. That means that this is the new year. It's the day the world was created. And Yom Teruah is what it's called in the Bible. And that is the day of the blowing of the shofar, or the blowing of the trumpets, or the awakening blast. It is a day to shout for joy. And I am so excited. Why do we blow the shofar? Do you know? Did you know that we blow the shofar on the new moon? The moon, new moon tells us that it's the new month. And Adonai says in Psalm 98, 6, with trumpets and the blast of the shofar, we shout for joy before the Lord, the King. So why do we blow the shofar? To shout for joy! <laughs> There's more reasons too. Jeremiah 419 says, Oh, the agony of my heart, I cannot keep silent, for I have heard the sound of the shofar. Jeremiah says, We blow the shofar to repent of our sins. Why? That's right, to repent of our sins. What does that mean? That means that we don't want to do our sins anymore. And we tell God, please help us not do it anymore. We don't want to sin anymore. There are other reasons to blow the shofar. To announce the new moon, this holy day is the only holy day that falls on a new moon. It's also to crown the king. When we crown the king, it is proclaimed with a blast of the shofar. When we blow the shofar, we are proclaiming Yeshua as our king. It is also a call to battle. When the sound of the shofar blasted, the tribes knew that they were to pack up and head out. It is also to call the exiles back. The exiles will return at the blast of the shofar. And it also announces that Yeshua will return. With a sound of trumpets, he will appear. And it also announces the great judgment day. When Adonai sits on his throne and the books are opened. The books of works and the Lamb's book of life. May we be written in that one. That one leads to eternal life. When we blow the shofar on this special holy day, it announces that Yeshua is coming back. It announces that we believe he is our king. It announces that we repent of our sins. And it announces that we believe in Adonai. The new moon signifies on this holy day, not just the creation of the world, but also the creation of new life within us. Did you know there are two new years on the Jewish calendar? So this Rosh Hashanah is Yom Teruah in the scriptures. And it is the day of the awakening blast of the trumpet, of the shofar, of your shouting. It announces the new civil year. This year is 5781, but there's another new year too. Exodus 12 talks about that, and we know that that is at Pesach. That is the spiritual new year. Did you know that you have a new birth when you follow Yeshua? You have your physical birth, like the birth of the world on Rosh Hashanah, and then you have a spiritual birth when you accept Yeshua as your Messiah. And that's like Pesach, where Adonai says in Exodus 12, this will be for you the beginning of the year. So on the Jewish calendar, there are two years. 
and in your life there are two births when you are physically born and when you spiritually become a child of Adonai through Yeshua our Messiah. Fifty-seven eighty is ending. Fifty-seven eighty-one is starting. It is a new year on our Hebrew calendar. But did you know God gives us two new years? Yes. In Exodus 12, at the Passover, he says, this will be for you the beginning of your year. Why do you think God gives us two new years? Very curious. This is the day that the world was created. Do you have a birthday? Yes, you were born. God created you when you were conceived. And the readings for today talk about babies getting conceived. New life on the birthday of the world. That's so cool. <laughs> and there's another kind of new life at Pesach. What kind of life is that? That is spiritual new life. <laughs> that is when we accept Yeshua as our Messiah and he writes us in the Lamb's Book of Life. So when we celebrate the new year, what are we celebrating with? Well, we have apples mm -hmm. and we dip them in honey. And we're also making a honey cake. <laughs> Yum. For a sweet new year. Shabbat shalom.